Shabbat Shalom, beloved. A word. I want you to understand that if I don't respond to your comments in a timely fashion, something is going on where my comments are not coming through the way they should. Some I'm allowed to answer, others I'm not. I've also had people ask me about putting up um, my cash app and PayPal information. This is what I have done because I am not as computer savvy as I would like to be. But the Most High has given me a message to share. So I am playing what I did put together at the beginning of this video for you first. Before I begin to go into this much needed word that we all need from the Most High. Yes, beloved, I have also called it the Apple of Yah's Eye Ministries. I need a name, <clears throat> or so I've been told. This is the name of the ministry, the Apple of Yah's Eye Ministries. I move according to the spirit, beloved. So if it appears to some that I don't move quick enough or I don't move according to what they think, that is something between you and the most high. But I am trying. I am trying. Bear with me. There is a message I believe needs to be shared, but this is my banner until I learn how to put a banner together. So if it doesn't come through as well as it should, forgive me. I'm putting this up first before I go into the word to share today. <clears throat> and I will try to remember to put it up at the end as well. Again, bear with me. Use your patience, which is a virtue given to us by the Most High Spirit. And we shall begin. And again, if I don't respond to your comments in a timely fashion, for some reason on YouTube, the comments are not coming through as quickly as they should have, beloved. And for that, I ask your patience and your forgiveness. I am now about to put up the screen that I had with the message that the Most High gave me. And once more, I need you to bear with me as I mess with this computer because I am not as savvy as I would like to be. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Please be patient with me. I am trying to pull up the screen and now for some reason it escapes me. I'm almost ready to stop, but I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm trying to find the screen and I don't see it. Forgive me. I need your patience as I search for something that's hiding from me. Hmm, I think I found it. Okay. Now I have to find myself again. Okay, share screen. All right. We shall begin, beloved. We shall begin. Again, I put up the banner the way I put it together because that's the only way I know how to do it right now. All right. Shabbat shalom, beloved. A word. And I will try to put that banner back up at the end. I need you to bear with me as I learn the functions of this computer. One of the things we have to understand as we walk with the Most High and grow is without faith, we cannot please the Most High. It is our faith, beloved. We look in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yah must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes, beloved, yes. Faith is a powerful moving tool of our spiritual walk. It is our feet. It is our eyes. When we look at 
Yeshua HaMashiach, and we talk about faith. Many of us, before we talk about what the world says about us, we have to look at one another. I want to say right now that, no, I do not fit your determination of who I should be. No, I don't act the way you think I should. And why did y'all call me? I'm not the one. Yes, yes, yes. All those words and then more. I never thought I was good enough either, but Yahuwah has his reason. And instead of being caught on the messenger, because some are, perhaps you should be caught on the message, beloved. We are in the book of Mark, starting at the first verse, chapter six. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, mm. saying, from whence have this man these things? Mm. And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hand? his hands you you have to understand where he's at and who he is among he was in his own country amongst his own people mm -hmm. is not this the carpenter the son of mary the brother of james and joseph and judah and simon and are not his sisters here with us and they were offended at him mm. who do you think you are we know you. You will have family members because as we go forward, and I believe it's in the book of John, chapter five, his own brothers mocked him. People are going to sit in judgment, not because they have the power to judge that they think they do, but because they think they know you and they want to determine who Yah will use and how Yah will use them. They could not believe this man born amongst us, us knowing his family, could be sent by the Most High. Who is he? He's a carpenter. Mm. Not understanding the diverse power of Yahuwah. Not only is he constructing physical imagery, he is constructing and correcting the spirit of many who need that pure word to build up the temple of the Most High. They couldn't see past the flesh, not even understanding who the man truly was. Yes, 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 they were offended at him. Beloved, I've got people offended at me. You're just a teacher. You're just a woman. You're just a, you're not a, and all the above. They were offended. Hmm. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, among his own family, mm, 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 mm. and in his own house. Yes, yes, yes. And he could do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands on a few sick folks and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. He marveled because of their unbelief. And he went around the villages teaching. Hmm. Teaching. Yes, beloved, there are people you're not a prophet. You're not a teacher. You're not a this. You're not a that. I'm simply a vessel that the Most High has honored to use his word, not my word. I did not make these words. Long before me, Yah is. Long after I am gone, Yah is. While I am nothing, Yah is. The words I speak are spirit and life, for they are Yahuwah's words, not my words. There are those who want to pick it apart. Have at it, beloved. You see, we are in the last days. And the reason I brought this out 
if they go at the teacher and we are but his students, beloved, they will surely persecute you and I. Even those among us want to pick it apart and make a determination. But you see, I did not pick Yahuwah. Yahuwah picked me. Even when I don't want to go, he pushes me because I too, beloved, don't think I'm good enough. As a matter of fact, I know I'm not. But you see, the words that I speak, they are pure words. Refined like a like silver in a furnace of earth. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. They are Yahuwah's words. What, what word? Those words that in the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. In the beginning, there was and there is the word. In the beginning, that word. Those words that it is an honor and a glory and a praise everlasting to speak that our creator allows us to speak his words and share his spirit yes but love you yes but there are those who think you are just you are not and i know you and your family and your people and yes 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 before we get too far in that if they did it to the teacher they will do it to the pupil. Yes, beloved. And this is why he marveled because of their unbelief. Their unbelief. He did nothing of himself, but only that which Yahuwah told him. Yeshua did nothing of himself. You see, some people look at the messenger and miss the message because of unbelief unbelief beloved but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto Yah must believe that he is mm, mm, mm. and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him how did they not know weren't they sheep that knew his voice mm, mm. didn't Yeshua HaMashiach say my sheep they know my voice yes 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 we continue, but without faith, beloved, you see that faith is a powerful piece that we must not surrender to ridicule, to judgment. Well, if you did it then, why don't you do it now? There are points in the scripture where Yahuwah sends people to do a mighty work. But the book doesn't go on and on and on and on endlessly about be it Deborah, be it Holder, be it Samuel. It has a beginning and it has an end. Although with Yahuwah, that person never dies. But there are people who think, well, if you did it yesterday, do it today and then do it tomorrow. I want you to do it to prove it. I do not, will not have never attempted to prove anything. Yahuwah is consistently doing and moving as he will. As he will, beloved. If you don't believe, don't believe in the messenger, believe in the message and your faith in Yahuwah. We will now, beloved, go on talking about faith and the power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're in Mark chapter 5, verse 35. And while he was still speaking, who? Yeshua HaMashiach. Some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Yeshua heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, do not be afraid. Mm, mm, mm. Only believe, believe, there's that faith, beloved, believe. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw tumult, yes, an uproar, and those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, why make this commotion and weep? Mm. 
The child is not dead. Mm -hmm. She is not dead, but sleeping. You see, many of us, beloved, the Lord has put the spirit of life into us, into dreams, into our lives, into things that we are working on or want to work on, into people we love. And we believe the situation is dead. No, beloved, but it is sleepy. Yes, yes, yes. If it lines up with the word of God, if your intentions line up with the word of God, it is not dead. It is sleeping. But you see, Yeshua knew not to take certain people with him when he went. Why? 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 Because they lack faith. They lack faith faith. When you have unbelief all around you, all around you, beloved, you see, it can stop. He marveled because of their unbelief. Yes, yes, yes. We are back in Mark chapter six, and he could do no mighty work, but it wasn't like he didn't have all power through his father. But there, lack of belief. He could do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled at that because of their unbelief. Yes, 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 yes. So you see, when he was going into the house of the ruler of the synagogue and all the people were saying, your daughter is dead. He wouldn't take certain people with him. Say, Peter, James, John, the brother of James. Mm -hmm. He's asking the people, he's hearing the weeping and the wailing, why make this commotion and weep? Child is not dead, but sleeping. They ridiculed him. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I've been getting a whole lot of ridicule, beloved, but I change if not. My father is, and whatever he tells me, whatever he puts on me, that I will do. And if you don't believe, it changes nothing because the messenger does not matter. It is the message that comes from Yahuwah, that living word that shall live forever. We shall continue. And they ridiculed him. Mm. They ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all got to go. You got to go. You got to go. That's what he did, beloved. Forgive me. The picture now again is going crazy. And I shouldn't even have touched that. I wish I hadn't because, again, I am dealing with this computer. Forgive me. Where am I at? They ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, send that unbelief on the outside. Don't bring it in to the inside. Don't let it in your house. Don't let it in your spirit. Don't let it in your mind. Don't let it come through the portals of your ear. Don't let it run across the portal of your eyes. What that unbelief, those who ridicule the faith. Yes, yes, yes. What has unbelief to do with believers? Mm. It's an uneven yoke, beloved. And they ridiculed him. Yes, yes, yes. But when he had put them all, wait a minute now, he put them all outside. He took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him and entered where the child was laying. You see, Peter, John, James, they had the faith. That's why they were with him. He knew the mother and the father's spirits were praying. The power of the almighty could raise their daughter. They had faith. They wanted to believe they did not ridicule him. Come on now, come on. But them others, those those unbelievers, you gotta put them, put them, put them outside, beloved. Let me continue. 
he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him and entered where the child was laying, where that thing that we, that the world said was dead. Okay, wait a minute. We've been in a wailing. Whew. He then took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kumi, which is translated, little girl, I say unto you, rise. Immediately the little girl arose and walked, and she was 12 years of age, and they were overcome with great amazement. Yes, yes, yes. The power of faith, beloved. The power of faith versus the power of unbelief. Okay. If they ridiculed Yeshua, his family did it. The people in the town where he came from did it. To the point they actually were offended. Who you think you are? You got to get the picture, beloved, because when they do it to you, remember they did it unto him first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, there's still something yet again going on right now. Mm -hmm. We're in the last days. And the last days has what you call a duality going on. We've got the carnal and the spiritual. We got the physical man and the spiritual man. We got that physical being and we got the spiritual person. And they're going heads up. Yes, beloved, yes, but this is a sign we're in the last days. How do we know? Well, let's look at it to finish this conversation. And remember, everything we do, everything, glory unto you, Father, in the highest. We know that without faith, it is impossible to please Yah. For he that cometh to Yah must believe, yes, 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 that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see, the father and the mother of the little girl, they were diligently seeking the most high and his mercy. And he rewarded them with their daughter alive again. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, beloved. We're in the last days. And we have to remember, if they scorned and scoffed and ridiculed Yeshua HaMashiach, because they did not understand the shepherd's voice. They did not know those living words that he spoke. They were ridiculed and scorned you. But we, beloved, are in the last days. Yes, yes, yes. You see, in the last days, mm, 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 there will be perilous times. They shall come. Know this, that in the last days, Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of them own selves. Yes, yes, yes. You've got these people who want to be idolized. They are not worshiping dead images of idols. No, no, no. It's not a carving. It's not some wood thing set up in a temple. They have made themselves idols. There are people who worship themselves. Yes, yes, yes. They idolize their beauty their handsomeness, their intellect, their money, their success. They idolize the fact I got the finest fine and the prettiest pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Men shall be lovers of them own selves. Mm -hmm. Covetous, I want what you got. Hmm. Why you got it? If I can figure out how to snatch it from you, I'm snatching. Boasters, oh yeah, I know I did it on all that. Bing, bang, boogity boo. Mm-hmm. Proud blasphemers, that ain't about God. Don't bring me that God stuff. Here you come with all that religion, blaspheming. Yes, yes, yes. Ridicule, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Disobedient to parents, unthankful. No matter what you did for this child, here's the interesting part of a full-grown child. They still want more, more, more. Never looking at nor understanding. It is time now for you to help your parent. They got the gimme, gimme, gimme's, and all I want to do is get disobedient, unthankful, unholy. Yes, yes, we know we are living in unholy times without natural affection. All you got to do is look at the television. They teach murder and violence and sexual perversion like we drinking water. Mm-hmm. 
truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of Yahuwah, having a form of godliness. Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh. But denying the power thereof from such, turn away. From such, turn away. From such, turn away. Yes, beloved, there's a duality going on in the last days, in these perilous times. Well, what do you mean, beloved, in the last days? You see, when we look in the book of Acts, it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yah, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yes, yes. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yes, yes, and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. These things, too, are going on in the last days. There's not a one-sided version of the story in the last days. Yes, 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 they are perilous times, beloved. But know for certainty that Yah is among us. He has poured out his spirit on all flesh. Yes, 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 and now we shall look to see what else is Yahuwah doing in the last days. Mm. We're in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yes, beloved, the truth is coming out in the last days. In the last days, beloved, Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro. But knowledge has been increased. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. In the last days. In the last days, beloved. You see, we are in perilous times. Yes, yes, yes. In these last days, there should be wars and rumors of wars. Nations turning against nations in the last days. But you see, there's also a season of restoration in the last days, beloved. Because Yah has poured out his spirit upon all flesh. Those who are his, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. I want it to share this with you. It shall come to pass in the last days. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You see, there are those who are scoffers. There are there's those who criticize. There are those who get offended. There are those who say, who are you? I know you. I know your family. I know your people too. Who are you? But remember, beloved, they did it to Yeshua HaMashiach first. Yes, yes, yes. And blessed are thee when men revile thee and say all manner of evil against you. When you're in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, blessed are you for so did they to the prophets before you, beloved. Blessed are you. While we are in these perilous times, he is pouring out his spirit upon his beloved. Yes, beloved. And you shall prophesy. And you shall see visions. And you shall dream dreams in these last days. And the knowledge, yes, yes, come on, come on, come on now, shall be increased in these last days as people run to and fro. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And all the while, we know, put away the unbelievers. Put them away, beloved. Get them away from you. They want to dwell on dead things. They want to dwell on things that are lost and gone away with the weeping and the wailing stay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're going into that faith zone that Yeshua HaMashiach walked in when he brought Peter, John, and James with him. The mother and the father believed because they wanted to believe. They leaned on their unbelief. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Come on now. But he left the weepers and the wailers who wanted to dwell on 
dead things. He left them outside. Those with unbelief. He removed them. Because he could do little amongst them. When he went home. He knew their thoughts. Yes beloved. Yes you got to leave those who dwell on dead things behind you. And choose your company well. What has light to do with the darkness? And you see, you are his sheep. You know his voice. And when they look at you and think you're not good enough. It's not about the messenger. It's about the message, beloved. Mm, mm, mm. Listen to me. Listen to me. Just like he went into the room with the little girl. And he said, Talitha Kumi which is translated, little girl, I say unto you, arise, beloved. Talitha Kumi, I say unto you, arise and leave the dead things behind. Yes, we're in the last days, perilous times, scoffers shall come. There shall be the great falling away. Let the unbelievers fall away because we, the just, shall live by faith and not by sight. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me go over it one more time. You see, the eyes said the little girl was dead, but faith walked in the room and said, I say unto you, arise. And you see that power. Remember, he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, but without faith you cannot please Yah. So remove those dwelling on dead things. They're the scoffers. They are covetous. They want to take away your dream. They want to take away your faith. They want to break your feet so that you don't move on up a little higher next to the spirit of the most high as he endues you with that anointed truth. Yes, beloved, they are truth breakers. They are unholy, heady, high-minded. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Knowing this, that while this is going on in the carnal physical world, mm -hmm. let me tell you now, Yahuwah met him. He poured out his spirit amongst his beloved. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, beloved. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And it shall come to pass in the same last days, saith Yah. Who said that? Yahuwah said it. It wasn't just a man. It was Yahuwah himself. Mm -hmm. I will pour out my spirit upon all my flesh upon all those believers and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and see visions and dream dreams. Yes, beloved. Mm -hmm. So when they say all manner of evil against you, rejoice. This is a word, beloved. This is a word from the Most High. Shabbat Shalom, beloved. A word.